Today we are going to learn how to divide a line segment in a given ratio internally. So let us understand this by the help of an example. So we need to divide a line segment say AB is equal to 7 centimeter internally in the ratio you are given a ratio, say for example, 3 is to 2, right? So let us see how to do this question. When you are attempting any question which is from construction, then uh, please uh, do not forget to write down what is given in the examination. So write down given. You are given a line segment AB is equal to 7 centimeter. Then write down what is required or you can say to construct, you can use any. So what needs to be constructed? It's this entire statement you have to write. Okay, so I'm just uh, shading this so that you can remember. So you need to write this here. After that, in case you are asked to write down steps of construction, then we will be writing the steps. Otherwise, there is no need to write down the steps. Let us see how to do this. And do neat construction. Label everything. Okay, let us start. So, the first step is we will be drawing the line segment. That is AB equal to 7 centimeter. Very simple. So here we have taken AB which is 7 centimeter. Now you see there are two endpoints A and B. Like we did in the previous construction when we divided the line segment into number of given parts. Same way here also we are making an acute angle by drawing this ray a x so you see that angle x a b is any acute angle that means it is less than 90 degrees okay after that we need to construct i'm using the word construct not draw so after this at b we need to construct a ray b y such that angle x a b equals angle a b y okay let us see how do we do this so with a as center you draw an arc and this arc intersects a x at p and a b at q now with the same radius with b as center draw an arc and this arc intersects AB at point R. Now measure what is this PQ. You see how we do this. Put the needle of the compass at Q and tip of the pencil at P. This is how you measure PQ. Then with R as center, draw the arc on the previous drawn arc. So this will intersect this at a point and let this point be S. Now we can join this BS and extend it further to make the ray BY. And you will see that here in the process we have got two angles. Angle X, A, B. Let us label this is angle 1 and angle A, B, Y. This is angle 2 and these are alternate interior angles and they are equal. So this means AX is parallel to BY, right? Till this, everything is same like we did in the previous construction. Now, we need to divide AB. See the objective. 
divide AB internally in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now look at this 3 is to 2. Look at the numbers 3 and 2. What is 3 plus 2? Yes, it is 5. So what we will be doing is you can choose any radius and with A as center on AX draw the arcs such that you get five parts which are equal. Here A A1 is equal to A1 A2 which is equal to A2 A3 which is equal to A3 A4 and this is equal to A4 A5. Now you see these parts A A1, A1 A2, A2 A3, A3 A4 and A4 A5. So these are how many parts? 5 parts. Why we have done 5 parts? You see here the ratio is 3 is to 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have divided this on AX. We have taken the 5 equal parts. Mark the 5 equal parts. Okay. Now same way with same radius. Start from the point B with B as center and draw the arcs such that B, B1, B1 is equal to B1, B2 is equal to B2, B3, then B3, B4, then B4, B5. So you can label these points here B1, B2, B3, B4, B1, B2, B3, B4, this is B5, up to this. Right? So you can write it here. What parts for your uh, reference I am writing here. A, A1 is equal to A1, A2 is equal to A2, A3 which is equal to A3, A4 and this is equal to A4, A5. Similarly here if you notice B, B1 is equal to B1, B2, is equal to B2, B3, which is equal to B3, B4, which is equal to B4, B5. I hope up to this everything is clear. Now, look carefully the ratio. AB is to be divided in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now, see, you have to mark two points. So basically from A see the third point. So this is start from A. So A1, A2, A3, 1, 2, 3. Put a dot. From B mark the second point B1, B2. Okay. After that, if you join these two points, A3 and B2, then you will realize that here you will get a point of intersection C on AB such that AC is to CB will be 3 is to 2. So here I am writing the result. AC is to CB is 3 is to 2. So basically C is the point on AB which divides AB internally. This point C lies on AB and this is dividing AB internally in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now in the examination it might come what is the length of AC? What is the length of CB? So you can measure it with the help of ruler and then write down your answer. Right? So let us recall the steps. What is step 1? Yes. Step 1 is draw 
ए बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन सेंटीमीटर वॉट इज स्टेप टू यस वी नीड टू ड्रॉ ए एक्स सच दैट एंगल एक्स ए बी इज एन एक्यूट एंगल वॉट इज स्टेप थ्री स्टेप थ्री इज वी हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड द रे बी वाई कंस्ट्रक्ट बी वाई सच दैट नाउ विच टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल येस एंगल वाई बी ए is equal to angle xab what is step 4 step 4 is we will be marking arcs on ax so mark arcs on ax such that how many arcs we have marked yes mark you can write it here five arcs on ax such that a a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to a2 a3 is equal to a3 a4 which is equal to a4 a5 what is step number 5 yes step 5 is mark Five arcs on B Y such that B B one is equal to B one B two is equal to B two B three is equal to B three B four is equal to B four B five. After that, what is the last step? Yes. the ratio is 3 is to 2 so locate the point a3 which is at 3 units from a and locate the point b2 on by which is at 2 units from b and join a3 b2 so i am writing here step 6 join a3 b2 so when you join a3 b2 what do you notice yes we get the point c on ab which divides ab internally in the ratio 3 is to 2 so we are going to write down this result so the result is AC is to CB is three is to two. I hope this construction is clear to you. Do it in your notebook and please try to draw neat.